Hello, welcome to how to prevent Zoom bombs, or in other words, Zoom hackings. In these days where many people are working from home, that the demand for online meeting software such as Zoom has increased tremendously. And because of this, and then many people are using, now we are seeing Zoom bombings, which is the hacking of the Zoom meetings by some individuals, obviously with bad intention, unfortunately. So if you look at today uh, in terms of what's going on uh, with the Zoom, but let's just like see some of the just recent, okay, this uh, video has been produced in Mar uh, today is March 31st, 2020. We are in the peak of the coronavirus. Look at this one. Uh, University of Texas president addresses races. Zoom bombing of university meeting. Uh, Zoom video pro for Zoom bombing and other privacy issues. Um, New York State is uh, questioning Zoom about the security issues. This is another one. Actually, some of the churches are using virtual meetings where they also got Zoom bombing or hackings. Uh, happening. Look at this one. Uh, many, many classes around the world are using Zoom uh, to do online classes and yet uh, we are seeing this. This is from a few days ago just to show you more and more. And here is CBS Boston is talking about the um, these hackings in another news article just yesterday. and. And look at this particular person. She shared her experience publicly on Twitter, Cherry Weber. She was actually doing a dissertation defense and then her defense was uh, hacked. Um, so this is uh, showing us that this situation can be serious. So what are the things that you can do? The purpose of this session is to give you some ideas about what you can do to be able to prevent a, a potential Zoom uh, bombing. Um, in Zoom, there is a couple of things that you can do in the settings, and I'm going to show them to you in a second. Uh, you can block screen sharing. You can block remote control in your meetings, block file sharing, mute all microphones as they go in, block the re-entry of remove people. Let's say that you have a hacker in, in your Zoom meeting, and then when you remove that person from the meeting, they normally can come in unless you indicate other, uh, otherwise. If this is a meeting that a lot of, you expect a lot of people, but they don't need to necessarily talk, you can make it one way by broadcasting on Facebook or YouTube, or you can use the feature of waiting room, where you can actually uh, wet people as they come in that to be able to uh, see if that is uh, good or not. So let's um, go and do this. Let's go to the Zoom website. Here is I am in the Zoom account. Uh, you need to log in if you're not sign in. Just sign in here, and uh, you can see that they're also. I'm sure that they never expected this much um, demand or interest in their uh, software, but it is happened. So. One of the things that you can do, remember, again, in this uh, presentation, uh, to be able to do block sharing. So you can actually do this from clicking on my account in Zoom and then clicking on settings here. So you should be able to uh, make these changes. As, as I have uh, mentioned to you, that we can go here and... Uh, play with the settings. If you just look at them, they are pretty much um, self-explanatory. So if you want to start your video with the uh, as a host, you can uh, turn on and off uh, from here. And um, if you want join before host, if you want to do a waiting um, room, that you should deactivate this actually. And I'm using my personal ID number. Um, and etc. So I'm gonna actually, uh, you can actually do this, authenticate themselves, you can uh, try to do this, uh, but, and let's go and look at this, um, embed password, we are going to do this. You can ask people to enter a password by joining by phone, 
uh, and you can give that password separately to people. But let's come here and do this one. So here I'm going to find um, So here, first of all, you need to activate this. Allow host to put attendee on hold. I can remove this person. So I'm gonna check this on. And uh, if you don't want this control bar, you can remove this here. But look, screen sharing. Another one that you can do, you can just say host only. And so, or you can give this to all participants. But if you want, to control, I suggest that you do this, host only, and then this way we can, you can always give somebody the, the access to um, screen share. And look, disable desktop screen share for users, definitely turn this on, and um, you can turn this off if you don't want them to do annotation, and so you can delete the remote control, uncheck all these things, and allow remote participants to rejoin and tell them no. So once you remove somebody for any reason that they will not be able to come back. And um, what else? We're gonna come here and do this. Um, we are going to check again only show default email okay and I checked the waiting room so I'm gonna demonstrate this to you how this waiting room works okay and then of course we are going to uh, live stream meetings but you can uh, do that as well so this should be enough at least for now and I'm going to go ahead and click and uh, do a video I'm going to just do the video um, off because I'm already using. So I'm going to open my Zoom here. And I want to show you a couple of more things here. Now you can see uh, that I can actually broadcast this. If this is, let's say, a dissertation meeting, if it is a meeting that you expect a lot of viewers, you can actually don't give the Zoom ID. This this is uh, the my ID here. Do not give it to them instead you can uh, broadcast this from YouTube or Facebook let me demonstrate to you how to do that very easy come here under more live on YouTube and then it's gonna take you to your YouTube account of course you have to have a YouTube account here I'm gonna use my regular email uh, YouTube account that I have and look and now you can make the meeting this way you can actually give people the address of your YouTube and then you can ask them that I'm going to be live there so if I were to click on go live I would be live on YouTube for the purpose of this demo obviously I don't want to do that so I'm gonna come back to my zoom meeting same thing you can do on Facebook as well so you can do both of them or you can do one of them and the other thing that we can do here is that if you were to click on the um, screen so I am actually going to utilize the waiting room right I have opened the waiting room so let's see I'm gonna come here um, manage participants look here there is also some uh, options mute participants on entry so anybody come I I can actually even not allow them to unmute themselves so if you want this to be one way you will talk and they can maybe chat instead of talking if you're worried about this you can even disable that fact okay so when they come in they are going to be in there and play enter exit chime if you want and look i actually am using this waiting room uh, option right now so let's use this uh show it to you in action so i have zoom on my phone and I'm going to join this meeting right now. So you can see here that I heard, if you look at my phone, it says, please wait, the meeting host will let you in soon. 
So right now I am here. As you can see, uh, this one it did not allow me. See, one person is waiting, which is me here in this one. And I did not admit. If I am admitted, so I'm going to... I'm gonna leave myself because uh, I just disappeared from here. You have seen what happened. So this waiting room is another way to make sure that people you expect are going to be in that uh, in that particular. And you can always disable that if you don't want. Uh, very easy. You can just say um, parts in the waiting room. So if now I will join this meeting one more time just to show you. Join. Here I will go into do. You can see. As you can see, I got into do um, meeting immediately. So I'm I here. got into do um, meeting immediately. So, so I'm gonna actually leave this uh, meeting again. So to so to summarize what we have said. Block screen sharing, block remote control, block file sharing, block annotations, block whiteboard, mute all microphones, uh, block re-entry remove people are good, wonderful uh, things that you can do. Is it possible to hack those if somebody really want to hack into your Zoom meeting if they know the number? It is possible. Unfortunately, Zoom is working on it. Uh, but this is going to take 95% of the hackers. If somebody is a mediocre hacker, if they just want to use Zoom meeting to get into your uh, meeting. And broadcasting on Facebook and YouTube is another way, but this way you're not going to share the meeting ID publicly and also show you how the waiting room works. I hope this uh, information was useful for you and happy uh, Zooming, happy online sessions. And I hope that we are going to come uh, uh, over of this, uh, the coronavirus situation as quickly as possible. Thank you.